if we want to evaluate the limit, again, I'll show this as the limit of absolute value of x over x as x approaches 0. What is that going to equal? So now we've got to look at something at 0. As we approach from the right, we are approaching the, the value of 1. As we approach from the left, we're approaching the value of negative 1. Again, for the general limit to exist, we have to approach the same value. Again, it doesn't have to equal the value. It's OK that it's undefined, right? Remember the last example? It's OK if it's undefined. But are we approaching the same number from the left and from the right? From the, right, from the left, we're approaching 1. From the right, or for you guys, from the right, we're approaching 1. From the left, you're approaching negative 1. Those aren't the same. So since we're not approaching the same value from the left and from the right, this limit uh, is undefined or does not exist. Okay, Usually the limit just says does not exist. Not really undefined, it does not exist. Does that make sense? You, the limit only exists when you approach the same value from the left and from the right. So as we're going from the left, follow this graph to the left. It stops at what value? Negative 1. And as you approach from the right, it stops at what value? 1. Well, 1 and negative 1 are not the same. So they are not approaching the same value. So therefore, it, the limit does not exist. However, <clears throat> 